Because if it's not, you're not in Christ. Right now. It's talking about what is captured my heart. It's talking about what can influence me. Go to Matthew 6. In the 19th verse, Lay not up for yourselves treasure upon the earth where moth and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. You know, when it's talking about falling away, we, we don't look at that falling away in the right light. We look at that falling away and we say, okay, that's talking about, uh, that's talking about those, those religions uh, uh, that, uh, that, that, that no longer claim the, 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 uh, the immaculate conception. That's the ones that don't uh, preach the blood of Jesus. That's the ones that ordain the wrong people in the pulpits. That's the ones that do this and that's the one that, uh, that, that does something else. But know what falling away is when something else has captured your heart. When something else has taken by influence, it's influence. And see, we look at it and we don't even think of it as a falling away because what we've done is we've accepted the standard of that life affected by God but not God. We've accepted that as the standard of Christianity. And we don't feel like it's any big deal if you accept that life as being the standard. Then you accept its actions and you accept its worship. And I'm doing okay. But what God is saying the Antichrist is that which keeps me from expressing myself in this life. Second Corinthians five seventeen says if therefore if anyone be in Christ, he is a new creature, and all things pass away, behold, all things become new. He's not, he, what he's talking about is he's talking about that principle. He's talking about the focus of that new creature. That new creature's focus is on heavenly things. And then in Colossians, last scripture, Colossians 3, 1. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For you are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is on our life, shall appear, then shall you also appear with him in glory. Christ in you, the hope of glory. What I'm saying to you and what I have been saying to you is I'm, ta I'm not talking about how heaven affects us. That has to happen. I that obviously has to happen first. But I'm talking to you about how we ought to affect heaven. I'm talking about a church raising up in the purity of the life of God, perfected by the Spirit of God. Coming forth in the purpose of God. And I'm telling you what I believe with all my heart. The Spirit of the Lord spoke to me and showed me and said, This is where I am. This is where I'm allowed. And this is what's going on in the church realm right now. This life affected by God can be very, very sincere, very convinced. All is all right. As I said, very moral, ethical, religious, fine, upstanding, but not yielded to the commands and the will of God completely. And the only way I can be not 
yield to God is by choosing the wrong influence in my life. And that is the spirit of Antichrist. Which is in the world and has been in the world working in the mystery of iniquity. These things are being determined right now in our life. This struggle is going on right now in our life. These influences are there. That's what I was talking to you about this morning when I said David Wilkerson speaking in, in Beware of Dogs uh, said a wonderful message. Anybody that hears this, go listen to David Wilkerson, Beware of Dogs. He's talking about the influence of God that makes you able to do what is needed to overcome the world. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you, God, for your good people that seek that word. We thank you, God, for your ministers and ministries that bring forth that word. And God, I just pray for them, each and every one. Lord, that, that God, your strength and your presence would be in them as never before. Bless them, God. I pray. And I pray for this house, God. I pray for us, Lord, that that which you intend would not one, one word of your good promise would fall to the ground, but everything, everything would be realized. And I ask you, God, that you would set us on fire with the fire of glory, that all of the things that would divide us, all of the things that would occupy us, all of the things, God, that would conflict, <coughs> would be laid aside by the influencing of your spirit in us that we could see you expressed to your fullness and that the world might know you through your vessel. This we ask you in Christ Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right.